For way too long now, my friends and I have debated one ridiculously tiny thing when it comes to outdoor gear, and that is Nalgene's, and specifically which one is better, the narrow mouth or the wide mouth Nalgene. And given how long this debate has gone on for and how serious it has gotten, I figure it's about time we put an end to it. Hello everybody, my name is The Outdoorsy Dude, and today we'll be finally burying the hatchet on the long fought out Nalgene debate. To illustrate for you just how far this debate has gone, I'm going to show you what a friend of mine wrote in a birthday card to me last year. We open it up, it says, Dearest Squilliam, uh, now my name's William, so it seems like he's already insulting me. With this moolah, perhaps you will grow a brain and buy a wide mouth Nalgene instead of that sad excuse for a water bottle that you have now or just buy something else. Signed, Wide Mouther number one. So we're talking about which Nalgene is the better water bottle. That's what we're talking about. So today I'll be debunking some myths that support the Wide Mouth bottle, and I'll be stating some facts that are true of both the Narrow Mouth and the Wide Mouth, and I'll let you make your own decision. Now the first thing I always hear in support of the Wide Mouth bottle is that it's easier to clean. And I don't really need to say much for this one, except that Nalgene's can go in the dishwasher. Sure, it's easier to get a brush into a Wide Mouth Nalgene, it's easier to get a cloth in there, stick your hand maybe all the way in if you have a really small wrist. But the thing is, you shouldn't need to. It's a water bottle. You're only ever gonna put water in it. You might put pristine tablets or some other chemical treatment, but those things aren't gonna create gunk on the inside that needs to be scrubbed off with a brush. All of the germs will be killed by either submerging it in hot soapy water or just sticking it in the dishwasher. Nalgene themselves say it's fine in the dishwasher on the top rack, so I don't know why you're making extra work for yourself. On to fact number one. Fact number one is simple. The narrow mouth Nalgene is much easier to drink from. So many times I've been walking along the trail, sitting in a moving car trying to drink from a wide mouth Nalgene, just doesn't work. You spill all over the place. Meanwhile, narrow mouth fits perfectly fine in your mouth as a water bottle should. Myth number two, and this is kind of the biggest thing that I can never convince wide mouthers uh, isn't true. I always hear them say that the wide mouth is more versatile, that you can put other things into it. And the most common example of needing to do this that I hear is you're at a creek crossing. You've got some valuable or some piece of clothing you want to keep dry, so you stick it in your Nalgene for the creek crossing to make sure it doesn't get ruined or wet or whatever. Guys, I think we have to turn back. There's no way I'm going to be able to waterproof this fuel <coughs> canister in time. If you have socks, toque, and gloves, instead of putting them in a Ziploc or a stuff sack, you're going to empty out your drinking bottle and put them in there? Doesn't really make sense. And it really doesn't make sense when you think about how most people waterproof their bags nowadays. When I was on the Rockies expedition this summer, I just put everything in stuff sacks, works fine. And I think everybody on the trail would agree that that is the better method. And so when you get to this hypothetical creek crossing, chances are those clothing items are already in a waterproof bag of some sort. Maybe your pack's waterproof, I don't know. But it really doesn't make sense to be emptying up drinking bottles and waterproofing clothes and accessories just for this quick creek crossing when they're probably already in a stuff sack anyways. Well, what about my tech? What about my watch or my Garmin? Well, chances are those things are already waterproof or durable or just aren't going to fit. Let's think about it. Your watch is probably waterproof. It's an outdoor watch. It's got altimeters and barometers and it tells you the tide. It's probably already waterproof and rugged. It's probably very durable. Uh, your GPS device, like your Garmin or your Spot, that's either not going to fit in there. I don't think a Spot fits in there and any of the bigger Garmin's is not going to fit in there. The Garmin InReach Mini is obviously very durable. That thing doesn't need to be going in your water bottle anyways. Um, then we get up to the bigger devices. Your cell phone, definitely not going to fit in a water bottle. Your camera, definitely not going to fit in a water bottle. And even then, for any of these objects, it's still just way easier to use a bag. Ziploc bag, so simple. Way easier than emptying out water bottles. 
Even after debunking those two myths and stating that one fact about the narrow mouth, we still arrive at a sort of iffy situation. So I'm going to let you make your own decision about this and leave it in the comments what you think. The Nalgene, wide mouth Nalgene, is easier to pour into, meanwhile the narrow mouth Nalgene is easier to drink from. But the thing is, most people don't need to be pouring into their water bottle. When I've grabbed water in the backcountry, it's 99% of the time out of a creek. I just stick the water bottle right in there, fills up no problem, pristine it. If I'm using a filter, uh, the filter that I use has a um, waterproof stuff sack that you fill up, hang up 10 liters, and then it's a cord that hangs down and just sits in the opening of your water bottle. Again, no pouring required. Uh, the only situation that I can think of where pouring is necessary is if you have water in a pot that you need to transfer into a water bottle. Uh, but the thing is, all of these backcountry pots are very small and they all have a little pour spout on them anyways. You either end up with a water bottle that's a little bit harder to pour into or a water bottle that's a little bit harder to drink from. Now you can buy that attachment for the wide mouth to make it easier to drink from, but the thing is, this sacrifices uh, a bit of weight and a bit of cost. I think it's about five bucks for that attachment. Uh, but the unfortunate truth is that this whole debate has been kind of a waste of time. You see, when I went on the Rockies expedition, which you can check out here if you have no idea what I'm talking about when I say that, we were going as light as possible as light as possible, and everyone we saw on the trail was doing exactly this. Nobody carried Nalgene's anyways. Everybody had smart water water bottles from the gas station, from the grocery store. And you know what? They have narrow mouth openings. <laughs> All right, anyways, it's been a long fought debate, gentlemen. I encourage you to leave in the comments what you think. If there's anything I missed in today's little debate update, let me know below. Uh, and check out this graph of all y'all who ain't subscribed would appreciate if you did. Um, if you like gear debate battle stuff like this, I could surely do more of it. Um, I could also just do more gear reviews. Uh, let me know in the comments. Hit the like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll uh, see you in the next one.